So hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller. Right in this video I'm going to explore the city of Troy, the ancient city with the Trojan horse. Okay let's get started. I found out some information in my hotel and I'll show you a map now. Uh, so basically from the terminal it's quite easy. You just walk straight down uh, the main shopping street, you turn right at the second set of traffic lights and there's a little uh, bus station of little white buses just before the bridge. You can't really miss it and if you do get lost just ask somebody people tend to know where you want to go in that direction which is quite easy so it costs 12 lira to get here each way the buses run at 9 30 11 1 3 5 7 in the summer they close at 5 in the winter um, the bus takes about 40 minutes it drops you right outside and then you will have to somehow find your way to the archaeological museum because that's a little bit away it's probably a 15 minute walk it costs 60 lira to get in the place and uh, takes about an hour to get round if you take your time. So it's not, it's not something you, you could do in the morning. You don't have to spend all day doing it. So this is another copy of the Trojan horse. The original one in the movie is in obviously the town. So this here is the Pythios Garden. As you can see, there's lots of artifacts and old, uh, old massive old pots. Maybe they used it for cooking or cleaning clothes. I'm not sure. I've been warned that these ruins aren't what you expect. There's no big city left. Most of it is just ruins. I mean, just, you know, just rubble, really. And apparently, they say in Turkey, it's one of the worst sites, but I still always want to come to Troy. It just fascinates me, the story. So, like I say, it just excites me to be here. I'm really excited to be here, actually. So, uh, here it is. Right. The ancient city of Troy. So... This here is Troy the Sixth, the Eastern Wall. As you can see, it is just ruins, unfortunately. There's not much in terms of things left, but at least we have something. It's very hot out here. Uh, there is a breeze today, thankfully, but I would definitely bring some water. Um, there's a lovely view here. So as you can see, some ruins here. So this would, you know, this is part of the outer wall. And you can see the view that the, the Troy would have had. It's not quite the same as what you would see in the movie. Um, to be honest, in the movie, they, they show the places very barren and very, like, dry. But as you can see here, crops can be grown i think that's the only thing to me that the the movie got wrong was the landscape it's much more green than i think than than the they show there's more ruins down here the ruins are really extensive it did say in the lonely plan if you do don't have a guide you would be quite confused by the ruins and i see what they mean there's it, it says troy the fifth troy the sixth i assume they're dynasties so it is actually hard to make out exactly what is going on, but as you say, I don't do tour guides. So what it seems is Troy has been rebuilt many times. So the ruins you're seeing are multi-layers of different periods. And they used to have places like this, like Troy, and it used to excite my imagination when I was a kid. So the ancient ruins and finding magical things. So places like this really still, still excite me. some magical treasure or something like that you know to to be to find i think it it just sparks your imagination from when you're a kid hear about troy and the story story of the trojan horse um i think i think people forget that i mean yes it's not perfect and you have to remember this is three thousand years of history i guess it proves how lucky we are still have things like the pyramids and machu picchu how extensive they are um most of this stuff like can be destroyed and here in turkey actually there is a lot of good ruins that i haven't really seen yet so as you can see here they've dug it out they've dug out what, what what it would have been and this seems to be made it seems to be made of some kind of like dried out clay quite interesting almost what they do in like uh, northern africa in places like mali so i say this is probably the most impressive part and you can see the guys here are clearing it out there's a well down there actually there's a couple of wells uh, yeah, this is probably the most interesting part, really. 
So this is the Odeon here, almost like a Roman amphitheatre. I've seen some other ones around the world, I'll show you a photo now from Jordan in Oman, which is much bigger, but yeah, it's quite interesting. So this is like a small, much smaller version. Um, you certainly wouldn't have the echo effect. It's used for lectures and other performances like that. So that, guys, is the end of the ruins. If you do want to know more information about Troy, uh, look in the description. I'm going to copy and paste quite a lot of information from Wikipedia that you can read about Troy. What it was, what it is now, you know, and things like that. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. All I've got to do now is catch my bus back and then walk back to my hotel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button, and I'll see you next time.